Hey guys, in our last video, uh, this was the tutorial where we created uh, this crazy guy, right? This Rhino uh, game character. So um, if you want to check it out, uh, we took a uh, ZBrush base mesh, then created and modeled all of this stuff, ran it through a substance painter, created textures, and then brought it into Maya. And then in Maya, uh, we created this uh, human IK uh, skeleton. In this video, kind of a follow-up video, I thought it would be so fun to uh, see if we can uh, plug this rig into some kind of a motion capture animation file and just see how it performs or if it, you know, holds up, right? Um, so to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, to Mixamo. And here in Mixamo, uh, I just typed in run. And this is what I'm seeing. There's uh, on page two, uh, I see something that called Mutant Run, and that is pretty awesome, right? It looks really cool, and I would love to get our uh, Rhino to run in a similar manner and just see uh, what does it take to uh, plug these into uh, Maya, right? So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download this, and I'm going to say without skin at, uh, let's do 30 frames per second, and we'll just get the FBX file. So I'm going to say download. All right, once you download this file, if you want to follow along, let's jump into Maya. All right, and I'm going to assume that you did follow the tutorial and you have the same, uh, you know, the same file or same setup or something similar, right? So uh, what I'm going to do next to get this working, I'm going to import the FBX file of the motion capture into Maya. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to file import let's just find the fbx file and import it into our scene once the file imports you can see what that looks like it kind of just uh, dropped itself in the middle um, overlaying the other character right so if i select this and for example go into isolate i should be able to just press uh, play and uh, a couple of things i want to point out right when we exported this out out of mixamo we did set it to 30 frames per second and currently you can see my Maya set to 24. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this to 30. And the other thing I wanna do is let's just see how long this actual animation is. So this animation right here is 26 um, keyframes, right? So I am gonna change my timeline to say 26. And this way, I'm just focusing on the animation, right? All right, so I got 26 frames uh, at 30 frames per second. If I press play, I can see what the uh, motion capture looks like. Uh, very nice. All right, so now uh, the next step, how do we get this uh, to control the Rhino uh, character? So the first thing I need to do in Maya, um, if you bring in any motion capture from uh, outside sources, you have to tell Maya, kind of define the T-pose uh, so it knows um, how, to, um, tr uh, how to use it, right? So what I'm gonna do is let's go to, uh, let's create a minus one. And that's going to create, give us a uh, new keyframe. I'm going to right click on the uh, pelvis and do select hierarchy. And, and you can see that's going to select all the joints, right? And now what I can do is I'm going to press S to set a keyframe, go to uh, rotation and uh, let's do zero enter. And that's going to reset the Mixamo um, motion capture to T-Pose. All right, so once you uh, do this, once you set this in T-Pose, the other thing we need to do is to define it, right? So what I'm going to do is in the uh, Human IK section here, I'm going to say None, and I'm going to create a new definition for this character. So I'm going to say Create Character Definition, okay? And I'm going to double click on the uh, pelvis and then click here to select it. Then I'm going to need to say open and I'm going to use the human IK uh, definition template to just say OK. And that will automatically link um, the character and create all the definitions, including the fingers and the toes and everything else. So it's automatic, right? Easy, uh, very easy. All right, nice. So now uh, let's do this. Let's jump out of the um, isolate mode and take a look, right? We can see that the character that I have created, right, the Rhino, is in a completely different pose. Their, their uh, motion capture is in T-pose, and my character has his arms down, you know, you can call it A-pose if you want. And then, of course, my feet are uh, sticking out, right, the, the, they're pointing out, theirs is straight. Normally, you want to 
have your T post to be straight. So this is not most likely not going to work and we can try it and see, right? Let's do this. Let's go to frame zero and let's tell Maya that character one, which is going to be the Rhino. And of course we can rename it too. Let's go ahead and rename it just so it's easier to understand. I'll call this one Rhino. So the Rhino character is going to be driven by character two, which is going to be the Nixamo, right? Now, if I press play, you can see that this does not look good at all, right? Because the uh, two poses, the definition poses don't match, uh, right? They don't match at all. So how do we fix this? So to fix this, uh, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is I'm going to say uh, my Rhino character is going to go into a stands and then I'm going to say none, right? Um, so kind of reset his pose, right? And what I need to do next is let me select the uh, Mixamo character, press H to hide that for one second. And essentially what I need to do is redefine my character to match theirs. So to do this, I'm in uh, Rhino character mode. I'm going to go into my definition and in here, I'm going to unlock my definition and it's going to ask me if I want to delete the control rig. I'm going to say yes, because it's uh, it creates those automatically anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? But now what I could do is um, I can um, change a few things. For example, I can take the feet. So let me grab the rotation and just kind of straighten this foot out, uh, pointing forward, right? Just like theirs is. I'm going to leave this alone. And the other thing I can see is that my... Um, uh, my head is kind of pointing down. So maybe one thing I could do is just point this up a little bit, right? Just so it kind of, again, matches their skeleton, which is kind of all nice and straight. All right, so let's do this and let's go ahead and lock this up. And uh, now what we can do is we can tell uh, Maya that Rhino 2 is ready to be plugged in once more into character, uh, character 2, which is going to be the Mixamo. And now you can see the feet are much better, right? So if I press play, the feet are actually looking pretty good, but the arms are all messed up. So a couple things. Um, if I go back into the stands mode and reset this once again, um, I can of course try to put my arms into a T pose or straighten them out to match theirs. Or I can do something uh, different, right? I can go into their uh, motion capture file on frame minus one, right? And I can lower their arms to match ours or to match the Rhino. So how does that work? Let's me select uh, the Mixamo file, isolate it, and um, I'm gonna select this as character two, right? So in the human IK, I'm uh, in character two mode here. And under definitions, I didn't even lock these up, so they're still open. So essentially what I could do is I can take both of these arms and let me jump out of isolate so I can see my character. Um, I'm gonna be in object mode and I can literally just move these down to match my character, right? So it's gonna be, you know, something like this, right? So now uh, there's a better match. Let me lock this up, okay? Let's go to uh, frame zero. And once again, let's say, uh, let's say we want Rhino to be driven by character two. All right, so now uh, let's hide these uh, all of these skeletons. I'm going to go to show, viewport, and let me just hide all this stuff just so I can see the mesh. And now if I press play, I can see that my character is behaving much, much better, right? The arms are out, the feet look nice. And essentially the whole point of this video is that I wanted to show you that you can uh, adjust the definition uh, poses uh, between the motion capture and your, um, and your you know, characters. And then as long as they're matched well, you will have an awesome animation, right? And that this is uh, pretty much the whole point of this. So if I would continue with this, obviously I would uh, adjust some skin painting right there on his uh, belly. And then also, of course, maybe raise his uh, head up, right? Now, uh, let's just play a little more. How do I fix the uh, head of this guy if it's, dry, if it's being driven by the motion capture file, right? So uh, check this out. I can go back into uh, the rigging. Let's bring everything back. And now let's tell Maya that we want the source to be baked into the Rhino uh, rig. So to do this, I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm going to click on this blue button here. I'm going to say bake and I'm going to say bake to control rig. All right. 
and I can bake to control rig or bake to skeleton. It doesn't really matter. Um, if we say bake to control rig, we can then maybe have easier time uh, adjusting the animation. So let me do control rig and let's go ahead and wait. Maya is going to create the control rig and then it's going to bake the motion capture from Mixamo into the control rig of the of the uh, Rhino, right? Which is pretty cool because that means we can literally now delete this. We no longer need it. So I'm going to select it in my outliner and just press delete to kill it, right? Now I know that all of these animations, if I press play, are going to be uh, driven from the controllers instead of the mix of a motion capture. All right, very cool. So now if I wanted to, for example, let's adjust his head, right, pointing up. If I wanted to do that, I can go into my uh, layers here and I can create a new layer. And let me call this layer, for example, head, right, the head controller. Let's go to frame zero. Let's press S on our keyboard to set the uh, key for the head. And I'm just going to literally just move this up. All right. And now I have something like this. And this key is going to be carried over all the way through all 26. So um, that means if I press play, you can see that now he's kind of looking up the whole time, which is really awesome. Now, if I go to 26, I can set another key and maybe, you know, when his uh, foot hits on 12, I can press another key and maybe he looks down a little bit, right? Just so create a little extra animation here. All right. And now if we press play, we should have something really interesting where the character is running uh, forward and the head is kind of bopping up and down, right? So this would be the process of transferring the motion capture and then uh, using the control rig to further animate and control uh, the character. Uh, very easy and actually uh, lots of fun. And then of course, uh, if you export this out into a game engine, um, it's going to bake all the controllers back into the skeleton or the joints and uh, all of that will work in uh, pretty much any game engine. All right, so uh, hopefully you learned something new and uh, had some fun with this and I will uh, see you guys in our next video.